So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Oh, Ben is coming with us still. Coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor ranch. Can That's what it does. Really stop walkers. Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, seems plausible. The electricity yeah. basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So okay. if the walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, oh. thank God Lee showed okay, up. Okay, Lee, sir. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where oh. are you from? I grew up in Megan. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor mm. inn. Uh, who's running things over there? It's a, it's a demother crusher. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses <clears throat> out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people yeah. you got over there anyway? Mm. Nine, including the kids. Well, ten actually, if you count the new guy. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, <clears throat> we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Damn. Uh oh. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Garrett. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Oh no. Yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Ooh. <laughs> oh. What? Down here has gone to Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Alright, let's get to the dairy, guys. Here it is, St. John Family Day. Five 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 oh one nine nine. Place so safe. That's uh, the phone number, guys. Fence keeps them out. You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing four thousand volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh wow! Wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wires. Look at, at guy, this. Dude, yeah. I've had any accidents? accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. Oh, wow. You've got enough <coughs> electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. This is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Mm -hmm. well, hello? We all work together. Oh. Plus we've uh, got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Do you apply, for the, apply to the rest of us? Apply to the rest of us? We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? 
Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? All right. Head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here. Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. All right. All right. See you later. Yeah, we will see you later. Bye, Doc. Mark Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before <clears> they <throat> fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. And you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You All right. <clears throat> this place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? That's why um, we should do whatever we can to help food. out. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more <coughs> reason for us not to... If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. All right, guys. A swing? Oh, they have a they had ever like a broken swing. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this <clears throat> to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I try to fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama <clears throat> sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. To like us? Well, we don't want to seem over anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is going to go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. He's a piece of... Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. There's one. <clears throat> Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Let's go. Looks like he's stuck. Oh, look. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those <clears throat> lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Oh! Wait. <laughs> I think now I can push him, right? Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Oh, I did the wrong thing. So I'm just... what's your take on the brother? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Uh, can... We've got enough people to take this place by force if we have to. Sheesh, Lee. You sound like Kenny. <laughs> There's another one. I see it. <clears throat> Man, the fence burned right into his hands. I think they fused together. Oh. Oh, do I have to do that? Not just. Man, the fence burned right into its head. <coughs> I think they fused together. <laughs> and you never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry, I'm too. hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? 
If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Oh. I think I see where they're getting in. This one <clears throat> must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> So let's help him. Little help here, Lee? Yes, of course. What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh my god. Oh. Get to the gate. Get down. You asshole. Jesus. What do we do? Yeah. Oh wait, we can move it. Oh, it's stuck. Come on, come on. Can I, can I move it? We didn't know what the St. John Gary did. Let's go. Oh no! Uh oh. Let's get out of here. But they keep the gate open. Oh my god. Y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. What, what do you oh mean? My Lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 no. Mike didn't scream. Mike screamed after he got shot, and then the fence already was on. Those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark. Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. Okay. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. So much for your deal. Where's okay. Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. That's true. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings. <clears throat> Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Why am I so silent? Oh, I don't know. I don't know why you're so silent. But can I finally go there? Because we did the perimeter. <gasps> I can go here. Yo, okay, let, let, let's see. Let's see, okay. Let's see what they have. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Hmm, so I cannot get uh, out. In. I mean, <clears throat> I 
All right. Let's just get to the bandit camp. Okay. Oh, it's around here. It's got to be close. But I can. Why am I doing this? Oh my god. You found it? I, I go out and in into the game. <coughs> hmm. All right. Let's, let's go. Sneak up, okay? Go! You see anybody? Can't tell. Can't tell. Watch I my can not tell. Uh... I'm gonna check out the tent. Wait, did you guys saw that? Did you guys saw that? I saw Clementine's head. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. It was really split second, but around here they stole from us. Boxes uh -huh. from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Cross the line. No. <gasps> Oh my god. What do you find? A camera. Radio camera. Let me see that. Okay, okay. The battery's dead though. Oh man. Good. <clears throat> what else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. Bloody if not, you know, it doesn't matter. Put your guns down. I ain't going back. If you tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. Happened. You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't uh, know me. Steal, steal everything from me. Who the f are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last huh? time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little. I want to know why she got the hat. You. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What, what the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah. Ouch. Right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. I don't care. No. Y'all wave them guns like you're looking. That's what you get. That is Jeez. what you get. What the hell did you do that for? We had a deal with them. She stole Clementine's hat. Somehow she got past us. Crazy. Must have been inches away from that child. Just couldn't take a chance on that happening again. That sound cool to you? I ain't crying about it. That's what you get. You know the I thing mean, is, I know she was crazy, but she said crazy. like that I stole Clementine from her. But I think the babysitter that that the babysitter of Clementine, the original one, shot, right 
I think the thing is just that I already killed her at the beginning, of course, of this game, of episode one. That's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Hey. What are we doing? Oh, you're thinking that. Why? How did I even steal Clementine from her? I don't understand. Is that a mother or something? Maybe she. Maybe she is a mother. Right? W who knows? Hmm. All right. I don't know if that was the mother man, though. That was a hell of a ride, huh? What? You were a madman back there. Took that crazy down. You're back. What happened? Lee took care of it. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. Oh my god. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you yeah, could you say, that. say that. We don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. <laughs> well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, <laughs> don't worry nah. your head about them bandits. I'm sorry <clears throat> you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all... I'm an old guy, okay? <laughs> Think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. You know? Thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Okay, let's go to the barn then. Let's give her that back. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Of course! Did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motorhead who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, we're gonna be good dad, guys. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Can I, can I pet the cow? I want to pet the cow. Let's see. You found it too, huh? <clears throat> oh, Leave can he? hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. <laughs> I have family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? Yeah. Turn no matter what. That's for this one. I know you will. Look, the guy with Kachina. What's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? Get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's hey, see. Look. Lee. You know how to pick a lock, <clears throat> right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. <laughs> oh, you are not saying what you think you're saying. <laughs> Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. This comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have them peek 
inside and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like oh, that's a really fun. good one. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cap. Yeah. Andy. I thought that was Danny. Whatever. <laughs> I hope you boys find something. Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. <clears throat> Farm can be a dangerous place, you know, uh, for bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Oh. Door, okay. Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Okay, we need a screwdriver. Let's find it. Mm -hmm. 